Hello, I'm Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and this is the sample video explaining the actual videos, Community Signs. Community Signs are here to help you. Community Signs tell us what to do. Can you show me a sign? Show me a sign, a sign that says Men's Restroom. Men's restroom. So this is designed to Can teach students to recognize signs they may see at school Can or at home or in the car or bus or at a store Women's or any unfamiliar place. There are four signs per video, and as much as possible, I tried to group together similar signs. So in this first one, we saw men's restroom, then women's restroom, and this is followed by walk and don't walk. After each sign is presented, there's a little vocal pause to see if the student can name the sign before I do. A sign that says, don't walk. There's also a vocal echo to encourage verbal students to repeat the name of the sign that they just heard. Community signs tell us what to do. You just saw the first video in a series of 24 total. That was called Symbols 1. There's also Symbols 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. These are signs made of picture representations. And then there are another set of videos called text. Text 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These have words on them. They may also have some picture symbols or may have some context clues such as the red octagon of a stop sign. Can you show me a sign, a sign that says The six symbol videos and six text videos also come in alternate fill-in-the-blank versions. These are for your student to verbally identify the signs themselves. Right now we're watching text one, fill-in-the-blank. Most of the content in the symbols versus the text videos are completely different, but there is a little bit of overlap. For example, in the Symbols 1 video, we saw the picture representations of men's restroom and women's restroom. And in the Text 1 video, we saw the words men and women, along with their corresponding pictures. A sign that says... All of this is great for verbal kids, but what about those students who are nonverbal or have limited verbal abilities? Uh, they need to find the right bathroom too. For those kids and for verbal kids who are new to the material, you can use the printable visuals included in the download for receptive identification. Each video has a corresponding printable visual with a field of four signs. You may start out with the videos along with the printed visuals so kids can match what they see on paper to what they see on the screen. Can you show me a sign? Can you show me a sign? A sign that says Poison. The ultimate goal with a nonverbal kid is to move away from the videos and onto the songs included in the download and use the songs in conjunction with the printable visuals so the student is receptively identifying the signs they hear in the song. Can you show me a sign? Let me show you real quick all the printable visuals included with the download. Fire Extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Fire extinguisher. Can you show me a sign? Can you show me a sign? A 
sign that says. Most of these are a field of four, but when that gets too easy for the student you're working with, you can use a field of 12, or you can even cut them up and make individual flashcards. Once again, this is Jeff Lehman of Archtop Music Therapy, and this was Community Signs. Thank you for watching. You.